So here in Moodle, we're going to have a look at how we can create pages within our Moodle course. So we're going to come into topic two here and we are going to turn our edit mode on up at the top right. So we're going to come to add an activity or resource. And then under the resources tab, you'll find the page option. We can star this as well. That means that it will show up in our starred tab here as well, which means we can access more quickly different resources and activities we use regularly. We're going to click on page here and it will ask us to add a new page. So we'll call this introduction to landforms. And then we have a short description we can add in here. This will show up on our main course page. We're just gonna paste in a short description here. So we'll click in here and we've got a couple of options here. We can import from a Word document. So we can actually click and import a docx file if we want to. So if you formatted things in Word and your images, you can import that. Or we can simply copy and paste some text in there, which is what we're gonna do in this example. So I'm gonna paste in this few paragraphs of text on this topic. So once we've added our text, either using the Word import or by pasting it in, we can also add images and video as well. So we're gonna have a look at how we can add an image in here. So we're gonna to come to our top bar and then we're gonna to come to the insert or edit image option. We'll browse our repositories. We're gonna choose a file to upload and then browse a file to upload. So we'll select this JPEG image that we have here. We can upload a JPEG or a PNG image and then we'll upload this file. So now we have a couple of options with the image properties. We can add a description for someone who cannot see the image in here. And then we can also check if we don't wanna add text, this image is decorative only, but it's better for accessibility to add that description. And then under the size here, we can either type in the size that we want that image to be, or we can let it auto size, which will mean it will auto size for different devices to the full width of the page, which is normally the option that I prefer to choose. We'll save that image and it will embed into our page here. So now if we scroll down, we've got some options here for things like activity completion. So we can allow students to manually mark activities as completed, or we can show this activity as complete when conditions are met. So this just means you can track when students are actually reading the content or at least accessing the content, and also a good indication of any content that you might need to highlight to students as they're working through the course. So this option here is students must view this activity to complete it. So I'll leave that checked. And that just means we can review which students have actually completed and viewed this. So we can also add an expect completed on option here. So we can enable that and expect students to have read this content by a certain date. And then scrolling back up, we're also gonna show our short description here on the course page. So if we go to save a display, we'll see our page. If we come back to topic two here, then we'll see our page listed and we viewed it. So it's checked as done for us and you can see it's showing that short description there so a basic page within Moodle if we want to add video into our page in Moodle then we can click add an activity or resource we'll add the page that we've now start and we'll just type in a title for this and in the description we'll just leave a note for students to please review this ahead of class and we'll display that on the course page. And if we scroll down, we've got a few options for adding videos. The option I prefer to use is the Kaltura option. If we click on this little firework symbol, then we can either add a new video, so either a media upload, and Kaltura will handle much larger uploads than Moodle will directly itself. We can do an express capture, which just means that we're speaking to the camera if we wanna do an overview of the topic that we're covering. And we're gonna choose this option here, the YouTube option. So with the YouTube option, we'll be asked for just the URL of that particular video. So we can come in here and we're gonna grab the web address of this geography video and we'll paste that in there. We can click preview and you can see the note that only public YouTube videos are supported. So if it's unlisted content, it won't be available to embed. So you can see I've got my video imported there and I'll leave the name of the video the same. And we've got a short description as well of that video pulled from the YouTube video. And we can click save and embed. And now our video has been embedded within our page. So you can see it just appears as a line of code, which means we can type in between and above the video that we have there. Then we'll embed another video. So we'll come to Kaltura again. We've got a second video here. We'll copy the web address from the top and then come back to our Kaltura embed page. You can see it saved that video as well. The previous video we embedded um, into our My Media content so we can access it later for other courses. We'll click Add New. We'll click YouTube again and we'll paste in this second video and click Preview. And you can see that has now grabbed that video from the web along with the title. So we'll save and embed that. 
And then if we come back to our page, you can see we've got those two lines of code that when we go to save and display, will become the embedded videos. So this is a nice way of embedding those videos. It means we don't have to go into the HTML code or anything like that. We can just grab the web address of those videos and paste it right into Moodle. So now if we come back to topic two, then we'll see our two pages here. We turn off edit mode and I'm gonna switch my role to student. Then we'll see what the students will see as they're working within Moodle. So now I can click return to my normal role. So I can mark this as done as well. I didn't set the completion options within this second page here. So that's how to add a page within Moodle. If you accidentally add a page within the wrong section, then it's really easy to drag these around. So we can just hover over and drag this to a different topic and it will drop it into a different location on your course. You can also drag things around on the sidebar here as well. So I can drag content on the sidebar, which means that actually it's nice and easy to drag content all the way down to topics that are a long distance away from stuff that is at the top of the page. So we can drag things around really easily within Moodle 4.1. So I hope this is a good overview of how to add pages and how to manage content within Moodle. If you do have any questions, then please do get in touch.